What's going on everybody? Um, I've been getting a lot of questions here recently about how exactly I wired up the cutlass. Um, today I took a, another fuse box that I had and uh, simplified it a little bit. I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Alright, so this is your stock Silverado fuse box. Uh, it goes the same for Tahoe, Yukon. Pretty much any 5.3, 4.8 truck. Um, this right here would be your 12 volt battery power. Um, you hook that to your battery, and then you got your C1, C2, C3, and C4 plug. Your C1 A9 plug. If you look really closely. You can see they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and then 1 through, I think, 11, 12 up. Um, your A9 plug, this pink wire, this is going to be your key on 12 volt source that powers up the fuse box. Um, you'll have to hook up your C1 uh, B. 11 so thick red wire to constant power what I did I looped it over to this lug right here <clears throat> um, also what I did was I had wired in I used the factory well the factory fuse block to power my fuse or my fuel pump um, so your C3, on your C3 pin, it's F1, which is A, B, C, D, E, and F1. It's a gray wire. This wire here goes over to your fuel, uh, your fuel pump. That's the 12 volt power supply that goes to your fuel pump. And you hook up your engine harness, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll go over to the cutlass and show you exactly how it works. Alright, so how I did it on the cutlass was I had tapped in to the original key on power source for the distributor and spliced that to pin A9 on the C1 block. I looped over, I looped over uh, pins, pin B. B11 on the C1 block to constant power supply and on C3 F1 I ran that back to an inline fuel pump which I'll show you here in a second. I bought a 380 liter per hour fuel pump off of Amazon for I believe it was $38 and used pretty much all of my stock fuel lines just a few adapters to uh, connect everything up and that's pretty much it as far as the fuel system and then you can see when I cut the key on it powers the fuel pump That's it guys, uh, I hope that helps a few of you, um, that's pretty much how you use your stock uh, LS harness and fuse box in order to run your LS swap. Uh, thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, have a good day guys.